In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to model an early mortality scenario in the plan. So here we have a plan for Paul and Jane. Before you begin, just check your expenses. In this case, I have them down as goals and we're looking at the timing of them. So I'll check this one, for example, their essential expenditure, go to timing and the best thing to do to start with is set them to plan end. If they're set to a specific person's mortality, then you just got to be careful when you're modeling the early mortality that they're stopping when you think they are in the plan. What you can do once you've created your what if scenario is you can use the steps to step down any expenses that you'd like in the model. For example, at first mortality, you can step down this expense for essential expenditure. And we're going to go to what if in order to model a change of life expectancy. So we don't need to give a plan a name or copy a plan. We're going to be using one of the guided plan creation tools. And in this case, it's the change of life expectancy tool. In here, you can click and drag the mortality event. In this case, we're going to model the mortal early mortality event of Paul down to the second year in the plan. Going to keep the spouse as is will be asked to review in the next screen so paul's model mor model mortality is 67 and jane's is 90 that's fine click next it'll then ask you whether or not you'd like to keep this plan what it's done is created a what if scenario for you so i click yes and here at the top we have the life expectancy plan if paul dies at age 67 versus his mortality at age 90. You can see there's now some shortfall in the plan in the later years. You can now go to year view and check the details for this life expectancy scenario. For example, the expenses in the plan and the transition of assets and death. Okay, so let's now run a lump sum insight for this change life expectancy plan. Lump sum savings. This is the retirement year here in the first year of the plan. And it's going to say how much of a lump sum they need in the year one of the plan in order to get rid of the red and run their assets to zero by the end of the plan. So in this case, it's about 131,000. Click on year view, top right, or double click on the bar to see more information. So that's a way to give an indication of protection needs when modeling an early mortality scenario in the plan. Thanks for listening.